Hey guys, what is going on? Bigfoot here, bringing you guys another BC gameplay. And today, what I got for you guys: 105 to 3 triple nuclear on the map uh, slums. Uh, pretty impressive gameplay, in my opinion. I guess you could say, um, probably my highest kill triple nuclear so far, and I would say like the most scary triple nuclear I've ever got. Um, if you guys check the kill feed a lot in this gameplay, you will see that the whole enemy team pretty much is using, or the enemy teams, I guess you could say, are using LMGs. And when you're going for gameplays, especially like triple nuclears, you definitely don't want to die uh, on streaks. And LMGs is like, I, I don't know, you guys know how they are in Black Ops 2. Uh, they're just like insta-death. And, you know, that stuff is really, really scary. So, um, you know, this is one of them gameplays you got to play really smart. Um, if, you, if you're if trying to challenge someone with the LMG, they're most likely going to kill you. Um, I kind of played around that, I guess, a little bit. These kids were really bad, but at the same time, you know, like I said, they had LMGs. Anybody can be good with the LMG. Uh, you got 100 bullets, and they kill in two shots. So, But uh, anyways, besides that, the gameplay, we'll get back to that a little bit later. Um, this is actually my introduction video into the Doom Clan. Um, so it's a pretty special video, I guess you guys could say. Probably my first and only upload of Black Ops 2 onto this channel. Um, I'm sure with Ghost coming out and stuff like that, I'm probably not going to be going back to this game uh, anytime soon, we'll say at least. Um, I'm, I have a lot of high hopes for uh, Ghost, but I'm not going to get into them, I guess, right now because I, I'm sure you guys... I mean, every video you guys see on YouTube is probably just like, oh, I'm so excited for Ghost, and you probably hear the same thing over and over and over. I'm going to talk a little bit about Ghost in this commentary, uh, but it's something that I... It's kind of like a message to YouTubers, I guess you could say, more than anything. So I'm going to talk for a little bit on how I joined Doom Clan and stuff like that. Uh, basically, I've always kind of known that I was going to be um, a part of Doom Clan because I had so many friends in Doom Clan, you know, and I knew I had the gameplays to get in here and, you know, the commentaries, everything like that. I felt like I was definitely going to be a good fit with the Doom Clan, um, but it just wasn't, Black Ops 2 just wasn't my time. You know, when the Doom Clan kind of forged, uh, that was when I kind of, you know, completely didn't play the game and, you, you know, the game was just really dead to me. So I didn't really join when it was... Uh, uh, first made or whatever, but you know now Ghost is about to start up. Um, but Ghost is a new Call of Duty, and there's always new things that's going to happen. You know, maybe this game will be a little bit better. Um, I really think it will be, but I'm not going to get too much into like what I actually think about the game or what I'm excited about the game. Like I said, um, but anyways, I just want to say that I'm really thankful, I guess you could say, and happy that I'm now a part of Doom Clan because I've had so many friends in the clan. Like I've said. Uh, I'm pretty much, you know, at least somewhat like Twitter friends or whatever you want to say with like 90% of the members in Doom Clan. So it's pretty cool uh, to be, you know, alongside with them in the Doom Clan channel now. Um, but anyways, I'm going to get into my topic for this video, which is support. I want to talk about support in Call of Duty Ghost and, you know, what it's going to do to the game and, you know, just stuff like that. Um, if you guys really think about Black Ops 2, Black Ops 2, uh, for about the first, I want to say two months, Black Ops 2 was mainly solo. And, you know, solo gameplays, you know, solo 100 pluses in Ground War or whatever was really impressive. That's what people wanted to see, um, and that's what a lot of people liked getting. Um, now, after about two months, I want to say around January, something like that, is when people started using support. And that kind of really, it, it honestly does cut the life cycle down of the game. If you actually think about it... Um, there's kind of two different lifespans because people will be interested in solo as long as people are still bringing solo. If you get people starting to run a support and they're bringing out bigger score lines, it's going to make people not give a shit um, at all about, you know, them solo gameplays. Because like I said, man, a lot of people care about them titles. And if, if you're posting a solo double chem strike and someone else running supports posting, you know, a triple or a quad, you know, people are going to be more interested in their video and it's really going to cut your views down and it's going to force you to run support. And then it's just going to be that kind of circle. Um, I think what should really happen honestly i think that youtubers um in general should just they should play solo until solo gets to a point where you can't really get higher like what i mean by that um you know like in modern warfare 3 solo triple moab was like you know the like kind of elite level of solo play um so you know once people start dropping solo uh triple chem strikes and stuff like that and it's kind of to its like limit and it's not going to go any higher you know people are kind of getting bored of solo triples then you can bring out support bring out something fresh to the community um you know just start getting different views i guess on stuff um kind of spicing up the game a little bit i guess you guys could say i feel like that'll really expand the lifespan of this game um and i really hope people kind of realize that i know a lot of people on youtube are really hungry for views and stuff like that so it might not work out a lot of people might not really give a fuck um but as far as like you know making the game better because in july you don't want to be sitting there you know waiting for a new call of duty you want to still be going at this call of duty uh you know trying to get the first penta or whatever it may be but like like i said if you start support as soon as the game comes out the first penta will be probably like three or four months later so 
Um, I don't know. That's just a little thought that I was thinking about. I think you guys would enjoy that too because it would give you guys more to watch instead of just watching the same old thing day after day after day. Um, but I, I don't I don't know. That's just my take on it. Let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. Um, but anyways, guys, that's pretty much my commentary for today. Hopefully you guys did enjoy it. If you did, be sure to hit that like button. It really does help out the Doom Clan channel. And uh, we would all very much appreciate that. And um, hopefully you guys did enjoy it. If you did, um, come over and check out my channel. I would very much appreciate that. And um, like I said, triple nuclear on the map slums. Uh, pretty good gameplay, in my opinion. 105 to 3. I actually had a, I want to say a 45 gun streak here on this last nuclear, but I kind of skipped a part of it because it was it was really slow. Uh, once I got to this last nuclear, I had like four minutes left. So I was like, you know what? I want to get this triple. I'm just going to take it real slow and make sure I don't die. And that's exactly what I did. And it came through and got me the triple. Um, but anyways, guys, like I said, that's it for the rest of this commentary. I hope you guys did enjoy it. And thank you guys so much for watching. Peace out.